How do practical patriots and practical preppers? Yachlose, gross. I'll stick to say, folks, you're a practical nurse. What? We'll talk about it, okay? Uh, I noticed you noticed that I shaved off my facial hair right here. <laughs> okay. All righty, folks. Are you having this problem right here? Okay. Light primer strikes out of your AK. Or any other firearm, for that matter. I might have a simple solution for you. If you're shooting a, a surplus comm block ammunition, this might be the answer for you, okay? Listen, all I hope is that maybe Prepper Princess tells me, you're still kind of cute for a old guy. I'd be happy as a clam. Hold on, I want to show you our solution here. Just a second. Okay, I want to show you this really quick, and thanks so much to these people. FiringPins.com. Uh, I was able to find a firing pin uh, that it will work on this. And don't forget, if you have an AK, that you may have to do a little bit of filing down on some of these, okay? But let me show you. Let me show you. Cool decal, huh, they have. <laughs> All right. This is the firing pin that came out of the AK. Notice there's some peening to the tip of that firing pin. All right, so she lost a little bit of length there. All right, this is the new firing pin. And trust me, I've already tested this out, cleaned it, put it back in, and want to take it out and show you all again. It works like a charm on this thing. So I did have to do a little bit of filing on the end uh, to make a measure up right. Okay, lots of, lots of videos about how to take a firing pin out of your bolt. It's very easy to do. Okay, but just wanted to show you all, this is the difference. This is the old firing pin. It's no bueno, and this is the new firing pin. So how you want to hold your bolt is just like this, because uh, I kind of work uh, like everything goes up, for want of a better term. So I want this notch up, all right, up, all right. Now, I'm kind of a Star Trek nerd, <laughs> if you haven't figured that out. Um, it reminds me of the front of a, of a Klingon D7 cruiser, all right. If you don't know what that is, never mind. But if, if, you're, if you're a Trekkie like me, that makes sense, okay? It kind of reminds me a little bit of, a, of the tower right here. Reminds me of kind of the bridge tower of a Klingon D7 cruiser. And how you want your firing pin is how well you can see this. You want that bevel, that bevel right there, you want it up. So like that, put her on in. See that bevel? Just stick her on in just like that. And then I will hold this with my finger and thumb. I imagine it's probably a few of you are cringing right now, but it's an AK. You can do this, okay? And I'll make that flush. Okay? Look at that. See that? Holds it in there. Now, one thing I want to show y'all is this. Remember I said I had to file a little bit? You want that flush. You want that flush right there. Uh, originally, it was sticking out a tad bit, but again, just take a file. Take a file, okay? And I just, not not what was in there, but I just took it out, smoothed it out a little bit, tried, test fitted it, because you want, what, what's, what's a nice, polite way of saying this part right here? <laughs> the firing pin. The tip of the firing pin, you want it to extrude a little bit. Samantha, move, sweetie, all right? Uh, she's trying to get in there like a ninja kitty, uh, but you want that You definitely want that to where it's, it's extruding out like that. I'm not gonna make any jokes. All right <laughs> So anyway, that's exactly how you want it. Okay, and let me and I took this thing out and I, t I I rack and rolled this thing It was just awesome So got it all nice and fixed for him. got a few more little details But I wanted to show you all that because if you're having bright uh, light primer strikes trouble with like Tula ammo and cheap ammo and probably for any anything that has a like com block, basically mill serp kind of ammunition that's got these hard primers, you may want to try this. It doesn't hurt to have a spare firing pin, all right, at all. Doesn't hurt to spare have one at all. This one though is junk. It's going in the trash. All right, just so that people understand, uh, you know, if you push the the tip of the firing pin, you see how it's kind of flush there. Let's see if we can get in here. It's flush. It's flush there. Have a little bit out. Okay, so when the hammer strikes that pin, you want that to be like, like that. Okay, see if I got that focus there. You want it to extrude there a little bit. The tip of the firing pin. You know, if you let go, boop. See how it does that? That's exactly how you want it to do it. Okay, just like that. You know, 
the other one didn't even do that, you know, but that's what I'm trying to explain to y'all. That's how you want it to work. Ta-da. So by all means, if you're having problems with light primer strikes, just try changing out the firing pin. You're pretty much inexpensive and it's a really easy thing to do. Questions, comments, leave them below. Until I see y'all again, I'm Johnny Practical Nurse. Arr, out here. <laughs> This looks awful. Can't we just shoot around it somehow? Well, how does my hair look? All right, all right, I know, I know. I didn't get to use any silky smooth conditioner. Brandon Herrera stole it at SHOT Show. All right. Is this rolling?